This is your video orientation to LJS 267 from the Schoenberg Collection in the Kislak Center, University of Pennsylvania Libraries. This manuscript is interesting for a lot of reasons. I think I really like it. Um, it was written in northern Italy in 1409. There is a note in the book that, that tells us this. It's been rebound, so it was bound in, eight, in the 18th century. Um, it's got these lovely illustrations throughout. Um, the text is a combination of a lot of different, um, different types of uh, texts, mostly in Latin. Um, it includes religious, literary, historical, and natural historical works, including classical texts and more contemporary um, writings. So here are some more of these these illustrations. In addition to the illustrations, here's another one. This is one of a scientific manuscript, so he's probably got urine or something in his in his little thing. The parchment is notable. It's not particularly nice parchment. It's quite yellow, you can see. And um, what is interesting about it is that it's actually been reused. And you can see, particularly on on these pages that there's, you can see writing here and also down the gutter around here. So the, the parchment was originally a much larger manuscript. You can tell it was a two column, at least two columns, probably two columns that were um, washed or scraped and then um, cut down to the size needed for this book. And then this other text was written on top of it. Um, the catalog record says that it was a legal text, so we can presume that there was a there was a legal book that wasn't needed anymore, and so it, it was reused to make this book. The book um, is pretty much all in the hand of one person. His name appears uh, several times in in the book, um, so this was something that he wrote either for himself or on spec from someone else. When someone reuses parchment like this, it's called a palimpsest. That's the term for reused parchment. And this is a really lovely, lovely little compilation of texts. If you'd like to find out more about this manuscript, you can visit Pen in Hand. There are high resolution digital images of every page, along with a complete description of the manuscript. And this has been your video orientation to LJS 267.